Burn. Yo, 69, he wins. GG, well played. I tried my best. No, not my Gathita. I need that. I did so much. Yeah, who invited healing, exactly? Wait, a back attack here could be great. Perfect. Please, I beg of you. Get this kill. The crit. High roll. Life is pain. Hit the sneezel, please. Thank you. If it had put Gothita at a point where Gothita couldn't hit it, we, we would have just called it a day. Goodbye. Ooh, this is all part of the bigger plan. You're at 50% link. Evolve, darn you. Evolve. I don't need you. I don't need someone who would willingly pair with a whooper. Disgusting. Ah, oh, finally! All right. At long last. All right, now this is the month where Kanadsugu is gonna attack Aurora, because then we have to do two more fights instead of just one to end the episode. Let's go, Weavile time! Shout out to Weavile, awesome Pokemon. Very cool. All right, well, it took like a, a half hour longer than I would have liked for Yukimura's story, but we're about to get it wrapped up. If we do a short episode or two, we could really knock out a lot today. Or we could just jump into like Yasu or something and get cracking on that. Yeah, 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 you're all useless. He didn't attack, let's go, gamer moment. Crab, crab rave words. Dun, 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 dun. All four of you. Call in Oichi and I can only call in reinforcements from one, right? I, I guess Okuni can come. Should have gotten Ina, but I don't want to have to do all the moving around. We just need to do this fight. This will register the Gotharita and the Weavile. And we will be done with Yukimura's episode. So chat, prepare yourselves. You're going to get to vote on another episode here in a minute. This is also going to unlock Konoichi and Shingen's episodes, both of which would be pretty good to get done pretty fast. Dude, I love Hydrogen. Great Pokemon. Oh, Psybeam over Confusion. It's a whole new world. There's a Pokemon theme song that goes like that. It's like, it's a whole new world we live in. Do, 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 do. Right? Am I making that up? That's somewhere deep in the recesses of my mind. It must be like a Gen 3 or a Gen 4 opening. Maybe Gen 2? That's Johto? Oh, it is Gen 2 then. I mostly watch Gen 3 and 4 before I realized the Pokemon anime sucked, but... I did grow up watching Gen 1 and 2, but I was very young. Bum, 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 bum. It was Johto because it's Pokemon Johto. Do 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 like that, right? Good times. All right, goodbye to all of you. You stupid instinct user. Who do you think you are, Goku? Wow, I crit the snom. That's mean. Like, I actually almost feel bad. I can't remember the song, but I'm pretty sure the best Pokemon opening song, it was a Gen 3 one. And it was the one where 
I think it was the one where he was doing the Battle Frontier, but I can't remember it for the life of me. I just remember it being great. Goodbye, all snobs forever. Yeah, I killed them out of the programming of the game. They're gone. Ow. No, my Larvesta. Well, that Bidoof isn't going anywhere. No, don't heal, you scumbag. Oh, the Whimsicott still gets to move. Hey, this isn't too bad of a setup right now. Seriously, Larvesta? Really? You really gonna do me dirty like that? Please, no instinct. Thank you. Makes my life much simpler. And then Weavile. Get him with the Night Slash. Ooh, baby. Murder! Bum, bum, bum. Oichi, if you wouldn't mind getting us out of here. Fare thee well. Bum, 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 bum. Victory! And Weavile is registered, as is the Gathita on Gracia. Perfect! This episode took a bit longer than I would have liked, but overall, couldn't have gone much better. Honestly, couldn't have gone much better. A lot of really good progress in a relatively short episode, because we started this episode, like, at the end of last stream, right? So we spent, like, about two hours in this episode, roughly. Not bad at all. Oh, dude, we ended in Ignis and we're the Charizard guy. That's funny. You did it, Yukimura. I knew you would. Thank you, my lord. I may have been fortunate enough to secure this victory this time, but I fear my abilities are not as honed as they could be. Lord Yukimura, you're way too hard on yourself. Haha, <laughs> that's the Yukimura I know. But for once, I would like it if you could celebrate your success. My apology. I love Charizard's surprise face. Stop it. Ha 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 ha. And so Yukimura won the contest between the junior warlords and would, before long, become a warlord for realsies. Bum, 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 skip. I will save my current play data. Thank you. Thank you. All right, chat. What story should we do next? Put your vote in the chat now. What else have we unlocked, actually? Shingen's story, Arch Nemesis, and Konoichi's time for battle. Yep, those are the two I expected to unlock. We have this entire page available now. I'm about to sneeze again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't wanna. Ugh. Yeah, there it is. There it is. This is the only time chat has ever been in agreement. Everyone was just like, yeah, just do Shingen. Shingen, 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 Shingen. Every other time I ask chat this question, like eight different people say eight different names. Who knew all it took was an old guy with a mustache to bring everyone together? Oh, didn't I? I also forgot to read Yukimura's thing when we started his story. Yukimura has been appointed warlord in Shingen's stead. Can he live up to the pressure and do his lord proud? I forget to read those all the time. All right, well, by overwhelming majority, we will do Shingen's, which is the one that I would have liked to have done anyway, so that worked out nicely. Two arch enemies, each with great respect for the other, meet on the field of battle. The earth will shake as they seek to find a victor. This is perfect because now we'll be able to evolve Kenshin in the next long episode we do, where it's easy to get him at least. And we can get Groudon at our leisure after this. For a long time, Ransei was divided between two great warlords. 
Shingen and Kenshin. The balance of power was always very delicately poised. Kenshin. Nemesis. How may I be of assistance? This region isn't big enough for the both of us. We need to settle this once and for all. What do you say? First to win five battles can call themselves victorious? Interesting. I accept your challenge. Ha! I knew you would, Kenshin. All right, let's get started. The time for standing around chatting is over. All right, here's hoping this isn't as difficult as winning Kenshin's episode was. I mean, this should be like a pushover because we have Shingen as well as uh, Yukimura and whatchamacallit and uh, Konoichi. The hack hasn't changed the setup of Kenshin's warriors, which is weird, like it did for Shingen's warriors. Interesting. Yo, straight up, I'm about to send just Charizard to take Kragsburg. Like, I actually think he'll destroy. The only threat is a Rog and Rolla with like, a, yeah, I'll, I'll send the Sand Dial with him. Sand Dial in case the Rog and Rolla is too much for Charizard. Wrong button. Bum, bum. Go get him, team. This will be an easy first victory. We're going to blow through Shengen's episode. I don't think this is even going to take half an hour, depending. Maybe like half an hour tops. We shall prove our might. Snom's face is so stupid. I don't think Charizard can press buttons because he flies. Unite Ransei and two heroes are the only two types of stories that are long and can spawn Kenshin? No. I'm pretty sure Kenshin was available in... Pretty sure Kenshin is available in, like, the 40 Warlords as well as the, uh... The 100 Mon ones. Because he showed... He and Shengen showed up in... In Keiji's story. I, I believe you're mistaken, good sir. I don't count that as long. You're insane then. Any of the episodes where you have access to like the majority of warlords and all of the kingdoms is long. because you can get a ton of stuff done during it. It's as long as you want it to be. Unlike any of the other episodes, like the Junior Warlord ones, those are medium length ones because you only have access to like half of the characters in the game. So you can't do a lot of like perfect links and uh, level ups anyway. And then uh, the short ones are any of them that don't have all the kingdoms available. Look, all I'm saying is, is that if you don't consider, like, you, you have to consider them long if you watch my playthrough. I'm pretty sure I spent more time in Keiji's story than, like, any other story in the game by a multiple. Keiji's and Yasu stories are perfect for ranking up and getting perfect links, especially because you can take over all of Ransei and then not have to deal with enemy armies at all and just focus on ranking up facilities and getting perfect links. If anything, the 100 Mons and the 40 Warrior ones, I would say are longer than Recruit Ransei ones. Because they are just, they are perfect for just hodling and taking seven years, and by seven I mean like actually 20 in-game years to get the perfect links and whatnot you need, so much better. Shoot, I didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah. 
it's like the best way to go about it. You have Bulldoze, right, Rhyperi? Or Rhyhorn? What's your move? Perfect. Yeah, as long as you don't get to 100 Pokemon or 40 characters or 40 Warlords in the episodes that need those to be finished, you can just sit on them for ages. Max out every territory, own every territory, get all the perfect links you need, release warriors and warlords as necessary to keep yourself off of the victory condition. For, for like trying to 100%, those are the best episodes, period, full stop. It's the best way to do it, especially when you're just trying to get a bunch of random Pokemon on random warriors. How do you release a Warlord? I think the only way you can release someone is if you try to put someone where they are and the area is full. There's not like an option to just be like, hey, dismiss this guy. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I think that's how it works. But if you like recruit someone and then you send them to an area that's full, then the game will be like, all right, well, you have to dismiss someone to do this. And then you dismiss them. I think that's the only way you can do it. What's your evolved ability? Is it range up? Speed, climb high places, increased chance of crits, lame. Yeah, recruit someone, send them to an area that has six warriors or warlords, and then you get to release whoever you want. Yeah, that's the only way you can release. It's annoying, but you know. I don't think the devs ever expected you to want to just get rid of people. Take the Abra, take the Abra, take the Abra, take the Abra. I hate you. It did not occur to me that the roulette time in here would be really annoying with only five Pokemon. Was hoping there was an easier way. Yeah, you and everyone else who played Pokemon Conquest and wanted to be able to dismiss a warrior. <laughs> they didn't design it that way, unfortunately. All right, well, both of those psychic types are dead to Weavile here. Thanks for lining up for Night Slash, idiots. Another needed change if they ever remake the game? Yeah. I don't want a Conquest remake. I don't want a Conquest port. Like, straight up, if you want to play this game, like, emulate it on your computer. Pokemon Conquest, for me, should be one of two things. It should either A, get a sequel, or B, just they never do anything with it. Take the Weavile. One in three chance. Okay, thank you. That actually worked out. Anyways, a remake or like a port in my eyes would basically just be a waste of time. Like, I wouldn't hate a remake. I'd Like, if they made one, I'd be like, oh, cool. But I would nine times, ten times out of ten, if you told me, hey, you get a remake of Conquest or you get a sequel, I'd be like, just make a sequel. Just make another one. I played the original Conquest like 47 times. Just make a new one. Weavile, tell me you can kill here. Rip, steel, still resist dark in this gin. Oh my goodness, game, come on. I don't think a sequel would be hard at all. Oh my goodness. Stupid bulldoze miss. It'd be very easy to make a sequel to this game. Make a sequel to the game, and then you can do the same story setting, but just give, like, way more unique storylines instead of having, like, five different stories, but then just depending on which character you're playing, it's from a different perspective or slightly different. I've done it. 
Anyways, none of this matters because, like, it's it's been 11 years. They're never going to make another Pokemon Conquest. I think Viparia is the next easiest take. It is so unfortunate for Kenshin how awful his team lineup is compared to Shingen. Shingen just absolutely blows him away, especially in this hack. That's what they said about Pokemon Snap, and look what happened like 20 years later. Yeah, you've got one data point. Look at all of the other Nintendo properties that have just been, like, dead forever. More or less. Also, look at the state of Pokemon spinoffs in the past, like, 10 years. You get, like, the occasional remake and that's it. I mean, anything is possible, but, like... You're, you know, I, I got a, I got a beach house to sell you in Malibu if you think that Pokemon Snap 2 means that, like, our conquest is due. Bum, 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 da -da -da. 